Your Toyota BC dealers present BC Outdoor Sport Fishing with your host, Mike Mitchell. BC Outdoor Sport Fishing is brought to you by Yamaha, Rapala, Duncan B. Lodge, Lowrance, Port Boathouse. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We've got a special guest. Can we call you special if it's your second time around? Mm. Probably, we will. <laughs> anyway, Curtis Myers from BC Fly Fishing Charters. I'm going to get it right for you. Uh, so, Curtis, I'm going to let you tell us exactly where we are right now, where we're going to go, and what type of fish we're going to be chasing today. All right, well, we're sitting here at the boat launch, Pit Lake. We're going to head up to the Upper Pit River. Yep. Um, same place we shot the last show. We're looking for boat trout in the spring. Um, it's fall now. And we're going to go up chasing some coho salmon. Um, we've had a big rain the last couple of days yeah. and the river came up into, a, into a, a flood and is now dropping and so we should have pretty ideal conditions and uh, should be lots of fish in the river I hope. Yeah I think we'll just touch on this too. The upper, the upper pit, you know, we were saying the conditions are rise and fall and there could be debris and logs around and, and you, changing you know, all the time. And if, you right. don't, if you don't know this river, it's not something you want to go up and do on your own. No, I mean, come hire a guide and the guys that we spend every day up here and, yeah. and we know it, we watch it change every day. We know how to get up and down the river safely. For sure. right. So what's the boat ride from here up to the fishing grounds? Uh, we got about a half an hour, 35 minute ride across the lake and then um, We'll run 12, 14 kilometers of river before we start fishing. Beautiful. All right, well, let's get let's get the boat off the launch here and let's go. All right, let's okay. do this. Turn my head to look for the rainbow. And yeah, maybe that's a trick. Oh, there's a nice. Oh, a beauty. Look at this. That's dime. Look at that. Right. <laughs> oh, that's a nice coho there. Like they're getting out of the way of my lure and they're going for yours. It's a trick. Trained. Trade secret movie, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna like this when I grab a tail, but there we go. Look at that. Beautiful, look how clean he is still, eh? Just he's got a parasite on him there, swimming off. I'm in the water. He's he hasn't been in here long. 
No, no, she's yeah. fresh from this last. Yeah, we're gonna let her. Let last her go. Blood. Lots of animals. That's awesome. <laughs> Good job, man. Yeah, no, That's thanks. awesome. Yeah. Please follow us on Facebook and Instagram for upcoming television and podcast schedules. Closed captioning brought to you by the world famous Duncan B. Lodge, located in beautiful Rivers Inlet, British Columbia. There we go. Whoa, there we yeah. go. Yeah, we're in the fast water. <laughs> nice. That one was different on that. I cast straight on an angle down for me. Yeah. I just retrieved it in a straight line across and he hit. Yeah. I wasn't even swinging it. I was just on the on the retrieve back. But again, like you said, every coho is they're so different individual, right? They're some like a fast retrieve, some on a slow. That's a nice fish too. He's gonna blow up here. There he goes. Nice. And again, it's nice to have that net too. You control them really easy. Give you some slack. Get a little spoon out of its yapper. Nice, buddy. No worries. I think this was probably a doe, huh? Definitely. Yeah. Beautiful. Look how chrome she is. Oh, yeah, beauty. I love that oil slick in the head. Isn't yeah, that pretty? it is gorgeous. Go on. I'm just gonna switch hands so I can show it again, but she didn't want to have. Nothing she wanted to nothing to do with that. that. She's ready. <laughs> <sighs> nice work. No, we're just gonna stay here all day. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, there's eh? A few, there's a few fish in there. This there spot, is. Isn't there? Yeah. Oh. And we weren't even thought about it, right? Like it's you just kind of thought, okay, this looks a little. Deeper well, this, the re never came up come up this way before. Oh, the okay, river has yeah. changed from that flood. Yeah. We can't get up the way we normally did, so we have to find a new little channel here. We come around the corner and oh this looks But the reason you stopped, you saw this little back this, this little back slick. Right yeah. 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 And it's funny, that's where all the fish are just sitting in right now. That's huh. why you read about. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> cool. <laughs> that's all. There, there, you go. Go. there we go. Where'd you get that on? I was on that pink jig. The BMC jig, he switched over. That's awesome. Look at that, it's the coho roll. That's the coho roll. Right they, somebody needs to tell these guys it doesn't help them. It usually makes it gets them, them tangled up yeah, in the And then line. it usually just closes their mouth and they can't fight. Look how clean this one is. Whoa, Whoa. Look, out, look out, rookie net, rookie net guy, rookie net guy. There you go. Oh, she, that is, that's ocean bright. Like that is so clean. Like a dime. Well, you can see the see the jig right in the side. Of, you got that, Kirk? The jig right inside of his mouth. Oh. That's a good shot. That's the third fish you've had follow on that jig, huh? Oh yeah, it's been sooner than I put it on. I've seen them and then. Oh beauty, she's gonna go do her thing. Beautiful fish. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Is, are you going straight braid? Like you don't have mono tippet or anything? No. Yeah, perfect. Head on it. All right, well, we're nestled into the spot here. Oh, he's off. Oh. That was like right at the boat. 
Is that your first cast? Yeah. Five feet behind it. 30 seconds after it's been running. Yeah. Right? Okay, rule of thumb now. I don't cast until you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> There's no point in hooking a fish first cast on a new run. I'm not not getting ready. Oh, right at the boat! Look at that! It was on my tip <laughs> of the rod, dude. <laughs> like it was, I hit the rod tip. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That was funny. Like I guess I, we're sitting in the right spot here that so. What is that? It's a jack. A little jack hole? Yeah. That is hilarious. It, it actually hit the rod tip. Like I reeled up too far. Yeah. Or just the right amount, I guess. Yeah, maybe. That's cool. A little jack. Yeah. Look at that. Parasite on him. Yeah, He's fresh flukes. too. He just oh, came yeah. in, eh? So you don't need to cast, just dangle it down there or yeah. something. Two casts, two, two fish. fish. Yeah. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Try to get a fish out of it. Learning with the pros. Brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. All right, so this is a pretty typical little coho spot here. You got the, a backwater, you fast water in front of it. It's a perfect little place for them to get out and rest when they're coming up here. So when I approach a spot like this, um, the coho will take many different, different setups and different spoons. And sometimes you'll have a group of fish sitting in there and different fish within that group will take different things. So it's always a good idea to come with several different options, spoons, little jigs, um, spinners, uh, a lot of guys like to fish with a float. We're not doing that up here today, but it does work really good in some of the, in some of the local rivers. Um, so we come to a spot like this. Start off with my spoon. <clears throat> I'm gonna pick it across that, across the flat water, let it sink down a little bit, and work it across to where them fish are going to be holding. When it gets right into the edge of that seam, we can let it drift through. Once it gets into that fast water, the fish aren't going to hold in that fast water. Instead of wasting half of my cast, letting it drift out and pretending that I'm fishing where there's no fish, we just reel it back in and go again. And we're going to cover it, every little part of that, of that log jam. Try to get a fish out of it. And there's one right there. Take that little part of the spoon out of there, no problem. All right, so we went through there with the spoon, had a fish right away, changed our angles, had another bite. Um, didn't get any more fish on the spoon. So now we change up, we're gonna try the jig and we're gonna see how that works for us. This is the exact same spot that we're casting. Fish are sitting in the same spot. We're gonna slowly just lift and lower that jig and there he is right there. First cast with that jig. And that's why it's so important, changing up that gear. Didn't have him on the spoon. He wanted that jig right in there. There we go. Barbless hook comes out. That's a big, beautiful coho right there. So for more tips like this, tune in to next week's episode. Learning with the pros. Brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. I would imagine there's a pile of them down through here somewhere too. What? I'd imagine there's a pile of them down through here too. There we go. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's coming out the boat hot and heavy. Oh, that's a better one. Nice. <laughs> That one's a little darker. Oh yeah. That one's a little darker, that one. 
Yeah. Maybe the darkest one we've seen all day. I was just saying that was six casts, four fish and six casts. Yeah, it's I, think, I think there's some it's fish. A slow. I think there's some fish here. Did you have any take on the fly there? I only had one and a half casts. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you're behind one then. Yeah, he's got. Yeah. We have yeah. a kite on him too. Yeah, that's got some color. That guy's been here for a little bit, huh? Still super aggressive though. Oh yeah. Like. Awesome. And now, here's a look at today's Tackle and Gear. Hello folks, we're gonna to talk to you about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, the rods today are North Coast, this is Salmon Steelhead Specials. This happens to be an eight, eight foot six rod. Again, nice to have that extra extra length to get up out of the water when you're when, when you're, you're casting across this faster stuff yeah exactly yeah. uh the reels are the r type reel this is a 35 series a little more, more line capacity and again drag system pulling some of these fish out of the fast current was great did, did oh stuff. yeah yeah some of them tested that drag <laughs> yeah, yeah that's good uh the line the line today is an 832 suffix um and again we did 40 pound i know that's pretty heavy but again Got some snags and stuff in here. You want to get start to try to get your lures back. And That's right. When you're casting right tight to the bank, you yeah. don't always hit right where you want to be. And getting them lures back is yeah, is it is thing. important. It is, especially if it's a hot lure. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And then again, so speaking of lures, Chris, we kind of went through the gamut today of what what they're bringing. We got, uh, of course, our friends at Lure Jensen Blue Fox, and then VMC provided us with some things. And I, I bring the tackle box, and you can go through and you pick to see what the hot colors are. I'm just going to put the rod down so we can have a look at that uh, that stuff there. But let's talk a bit about colors and size and stuff, right? Yeah, well, I mean, our water here today is it's quite clear. We have great visibility. Them fish yeah. can see it coming from a long ways away. Yeah. Um, and we did really well on the, on the gold uh, yeah. with a red stripe and the all um, gold, just the more subtler colors, not, not necessarily the super bright, flashy yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then again, a couple of fish taken on the, on the blue fox, number yeah. fives. Uh, the orange and the purple were are, are ones that we used uh, again cat had a couple of takes on those two right yeah it's uh, funny when you get into the spoon and it's then it's then it is the bright flashy ones those yeah. are the ones that seem to get them it's, yeah right we, we did try the colors and those are ones that we had the follows on right so that's right and then uh, you're talking about jigs and i said well i've got these vmc jigs and we used them down in a previous episode down in the states and guys are all over them and that's these are the right. new vmc jigs that we just got and right away you're like hey that pink one's gonna work and i don't know how many fish you've hooked on that thing i haven't had any yet but you've had a few <laughs> a few takes on that right yeah it works great looks good in the water and yeah they seem to like it yeah and then of course we can't forget uh bc outdoors tundra that's a key to most fishing is getting us to and from the places right so thing is a we beast. pulled in the parking lot and you pulled up you're like oh there he is that's right it's hard not to see the tundra right so uh good comfort and reliability and again this is probably one of the first trips you've had in a while that we haven't had to had to tow something it's kind of nice riding in thinking about fishing not having a boat behind us so awesome. it's all good all right, folks, we're going to follow up a quick list and then we'll see you out on the water. Yo, that's a good hit. Oh, oh did he hit that hard? Did you see that? <laughs> that's a bigger fish, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a bigger, too. <laughs> Almost looks like a chum. 
Not Maybe that one. just well, it's not, but just the, the way it, the green head almost. Yeah. Beautiful. Get that big Smurf yeah. pipe on them. <laughs> They're famous for rolling, right? The Look cold roll. On. Look at the head on it. Oh, that's a good fish too. That's another big boy. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Just starting to get pink. Look at the oil slick in his head though, isn't that yeah, pretty? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Big buck. Big wild buck. Oh. It's gonna do his job to replenish the stocks for us going forward. Nice. And he'll be good to go. It's every fish, hit, <laughs> every fish is hitting different, right? There's yeah. soft takes, like the one I had didn't hear the first time on that spinner, just, it just, just line slowed. Yeah. And I was like, oh, there he's there. But that first one he hit was soft. Yeah. And then two smashes. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. these coho are they're like that. They're individual like that. Yeah. Sometimes you get one on a fast retrieve and then you yeah. get nothing on a fast retrieve. You try a slow retrieve and you get one. Yeah. Change that angle up a little bit yeah. and you get them. Yeah. Just little yeah, differences. Really cool. Another one. That's a better one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yeah, are you basically just letting it float down? I'm just slowly reeling yeah. as it swings. Okay. Are you feeling bottom at all? No. No, eh? Just keeping it off the bottom. If it hits the bottom, I just reel a little bit faster and get it yeah, up. Yeah, okay. Ooh. See his head. Wow. Yeah, that's a big <laughs> That's a hog. That's a coho there. <coughs> Wow, that's Look awesome. Look the size of that buck. Holy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's got skit and some teeth on him now. Yeah, I'm about to pop the net out of the way. I'll just keep in. Wow, gorgeous fish. Yeah, you're right. Look at the mark there. Yeah, he's, he's all healed up, though. Yeah, no problems. Yeah. He's ready to go. Let's say goodbye to him. Say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. Right on, Mike. Awesome. Well, you know, it's getting late in the day. We got a little bit of a run to go back. Yeah, we want to make sure we have lots of light to get out of here. Yeah, I can't thank you enough. I mean, this is two different fisheries done with you now. Yeah. And it's been lights out. I mean, easy peasy fishing. Lots well, of fun. Yeah, when you hit it right, it's yeah, just. Yeah. I mean, fish funny, are you know, we were talking. Super yeah, aggressive. But we're talking about it too, right? And you said the rivers come up. And you're like, hey, let's go test Monday. If not, we have another day set down yeah. the week when the weather's supposed to get nice. And I don't think it could be any better. Worked out perfect. Right. Water's yeah. perfect yeah. height. And the color. fish are here. Fish are here and, and, they're, they're, and they're, they're excited to play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, thanks again, man. Appreciate it. It's been so much fun. As awesome. usual, we'll oh, do it again. We'll, have have we'll, we'll come back and do another one somewhere else. We'll do something different next time too. This has been a really cool fishery. We can't awesome. thank you enough. No problem. And thank you folks for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Look forward to having you join us on a future episode. <laughs>